Um, welcome to CIO Leadership Live. I'm Kira Tattar, Content Strategist at Foundry, and I will be your host for this episode. Our guest today is Anil Menon, CIO at Lulu Group India. India. Anil, it is a pleasure to have you with us for this edition of CIO Leadership Live. Thank you for having me here. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Uh, Anil, we uh, can start with uh, talking about your role and responsibility at uh, Lulu India. And uh, what, according to you, is the most important challenge that you are currently experiencing in the domain? Certainly. Uh, as a CIO of, uh, of Lulu Group India, my largely, I largely oversee the technology part of it, the digital transformation which is coming up with it. We also have a diversified interest in business, different businesses, right? So bringing them into a single platform is, is, is largely what we are currently driving. And to identify opportunities when it comes to digital transformation, to make sure that there is a seamless integration between technologies across these various operations. This, this is largely what we do here. And from a potent challenge perspective, yes, experiencing the digital transformation across wide range of businesses is, and having a unified technology approach that caters to the uh, unique business needs of the uh, businesses is what we generally work on. All right, that does explain your role and responsibility and sheds light on them as well. Um, what, uh, so like you mentioned, the digital transformation initiatives, what key digital transformation initiatives, initiatives are being adopted by Lulu India in recent times? And if you could shed some light on how the adoption of these initiatives is improving the overall customer experience at your retail stores or online platforms. Certainly. Uh, we've been focusing heavily on AI, IoT, and analytics for now uh, as this current journey goes by, right? Uh, this technology is significantly enhancing our customer satisfactions, experiences, right? Uh, by enabling personalized uh, content, okay, making sure that they have the right mix of what they're looking at, right? And that's, that's, that's a key for any customer as of today. By also uh, streamlining our supply chain, by making sure the deliveries are on time, our business uh, contingencies have been taken care of. Okay, and in today's world, what happens is that there are a lot of uh, channels which are coming up every now and then. How do you cater to them being an agile in that platform and being more productive in, in that platform is what we are working on to, as of today. Understood. And a very important point as well. Agility is definitely the name of the game when it comes to customer experience. Uh, you know, the other thing that has uh, come into the picture, thanks to all of, uh, you know, all the technology that's being implemented is the huge amount of data that uh, companies now have access to. So and uh, data analytics and the customer insights that come from it are crucial in today's retail landscape. How is your organization leveraging data and analytics to inform your business de decisions, personalize marketing, and optimize operations? Can you discuss those strategies and measures uh, that the company has in place to protect customer and company data? Perfectly. That's a that's a very valid question at this point of time. Is data in retail is huge, right? And we being in different businesses, we have a lot of data which is which can be made use of, right? In terms of to in the benefits of the customer's experience, right? Uh, from that perspective, uh, we do heavy, extensive analytical uh, slice and dice, if I have to call, from behavior, trends, preferences. That's when we can get that customer experiences and the preferences which can be communicated to the customer, right? Uh, part one. Second, uh, it also enables us to make sure that we have the right uh, amount of inventory, product lines. Uh, the trends by using the trends, we 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 try to map this up. Also, the demand forecasting, if if need be, uh, which can be more. While we've been doing that for long, but it can be uh, more precise and can be optimized to a level where uh, we have minimal inventory being carried with us. Now, having said this, data production is is upmost at in the organization as a culture, right? Uh, having that as as having said that, we make sure that uh, regular audits, uh, encryptions, compliances, and data prote protection regularization, which is coming as a DPDP, which is called as data protection digital uh, policies, are being trying to be implemented so that uh, we we safeguard both customer and company data. 
that is uh, that is a lot of work that you're doing on the data front. Thank you so much for covering that. Uh, you know, moving from data to something that is a little bit more recent, uh, but that's been on the radar of several organizations nonetheless, is emerging technologies. Uh, how is Lulu India leveraging emerging technologies like AI or machine learning? Um, and what key areas do you aim to revolutionize with this? Well, the future of IT is again centric to seamless omni-channel experiences for the customer from a retail perspective, right? Uh, customer, customer expectations are also that we are available where they are, right? And where they need us to be. The touch points, the interactions, the consistencies, are need to be uh, is need to be seamless across all channels, right? Uh, we as Lulu Group India are investing heavily into agility, cloud technologies to make sure the adaptions of such emerging trends are uh, are seamless for us, right? And we also do a lot of partnerships and collaborations with tech, tech innovators to be a part of our strategy to stay in the forefront of such technology changes which are coming up every now and then. So making sure that we optimize the investments vis-a-vis also be agile enough for the customer. Understood. Uh, you know, as a CIO, I'm sure that your role has seen a lot of transformation, uh, especially in the in recent years when, the, when technology becomes more and more important to the business. Um, so you do play a pivotal role in driving digital transformation. What do you feel the future of IT looks like in the retail industry? And how is Lulu India preparing to adapt to these upcoming trends and cha- changes in technology? As, as I said, again, back to the uh, three parts. One, we innovate as much as possible. We are agile enough and just not agile enough, but trying to be more agile enough uh, to uh, embrace this uh, technology changes which is coming up. And last, not by the least, but partnership with and collaboration with Tech James. All right. That, that, that is very precise, but you do have a plan, you know, a good map. When it comes to more specific uh, AI, uh, especially generative AI and chat GPT, these are very specific te- technologies and companies are trying to use them in a big way. But is there a threat of job losses in the IT industry? And what, according to you as CIO, are the traits of sought after human talent? And uh, what are you doing to retain talent like that? Perfect. And that's a very, very uh, uh, subjective topic, if you have to call at this point of time, right? Uh, but from a generative way where we come from is it's going to be an augmented uh, element for us as humans, right? Where uh, while job, some job roles goes, uh, goes off, there are huge opportunities again created from that aspect, right? So the best thing we can do and uh, what we try to do is bring in more and more AI generative AIs into our platforms by or say to vis-a-vis look at the productivity of it, right? Uh, while bringing in a lot of uh, AI, we, we try to bring in more productivity, more optimization to the current processes and also to the futuristic thought of what the customer can behave like or bringing in that change, right? Uh, from, from, an, uh, from a resource perspective or from an, from an skill perspective, what? What we try to do is we try to look at people who are more adaptive, problem solving, and have a creative mindset to it, right? Uh, because, and what we try to do with this talent is we upskill them as and when it comes in. That's, that's a continuous learning culture which we have brought into our organization for our future growth. But that's the only way we can grow. We can't be at, as technology moves, we also have to move parallelly to it, right? Or far faster than that, which, helps us retaining uh, our, and nature our, our uh, human talents, which we have, and also make sure that that's a very innovative culture uh, being brought into the, the organization. Uh, understood. And that is very relevant as well. You know, we do need adaptable human resources, uh, but the upskilling, I don't think it ever really ends. Yes. Uh, one final question for you. Do you have a digital transformation mi- mission and vision for your company? And if so, what is that? Uh, we do have, and that, and today's world, I do not think no one is thinking about it. Every 
the smallest or smallest, the largest or the largest organization has this in their plan. We we are going uh, through this transformation as of now. Uh, we have a prescribed steps to it or a prescribed thought process around it. But also we are again bringing in an agility in the process also from an aspect saying that the technology can change anytime. So we would not be uh, very stringent on the, the transformation journey per se, but also be adaptive and agile in the, in the formation. So that's a continuous review uh, on the plans happening, what's coming new in the market, say like suddenly the chat GPTs and the AI brought in a lot of, uh, you know, lot of seamless work which can be done, right? We have brought that into our organization. How can we now fit it into the current process is what we are working on. So that's a continuous review and governance happening through this digital transformation and uh, vision and mission also. Understood. And that does capture it really, really well. Uh, that brings me to the end of this episode uh, of CIO Leadership Live. Uh, Anil, thank you so much for sharing your valuable insights with us on the different technologies that are part of your digital transformation, uh, the way you lead your CIO role and the way you pick the right talent and how emerging technologies are helping the retail industry move forward. Uh, this has been a very enlightening conversation. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. Until next time, this is me, Kirat, signing off from CIO Leadership Life. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you.